Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to implement custom fonts in React Native. There are going to be five steps that we need to follow in order to make it work. So you need to ensure that you follow each and every step correctly in order to, for it to work. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, you need custom fonts. I have downloaded my own custom fonts. These are comic new bold. So I have downloaded them from Google fonts. One thing to note is that these fonts are named incorrectly. We need to rename them in accordance to what they have their original name. So if you go to properties and look at the detail section, you can see the original name of these fonts. So we need to go ahead and rename them in order to make them same. So once you rename them, they would look similar to this. You can use your own custom fonts or any different fonts, but make sure to name them accordingly so that they can match their title. So now what I will do is just copy these fonts. And I'll create a folder in our project directory. So this is a bare React Native app that has been created using React Native init command and it is totally bare and the boilerplate is from the react native initial project so in the root directory i will create a new folder named assets inside it create another folder fonts and paste your custom fonts in here inside the fonts folder All right, next thing you need to do is create a file that will tell our project that our fonts need to be picked from assets folder. So create a new file in the root directory as react native config react native dot config dot js. After that, we need to add this code inside it all right this assets path is what our react native will go and find the fonts i'll save it next thing you need to do is run react native link so i'll kill the terminal and write the command react native link So this will create font folder in both iOS and Android directory. Now I'll again start the project using React Native run Android. So meanwhile the APK is being created. Let's go to app.js file. Inside here, let's go to Section highlight, highlight, size or highlight, or maybe we can go to section title and just add the font name family. So I'll add font family comic new bold. I will not save it. First of all, let's see how our old fonts are looking. So these are the default fonts that I exported. Or with the react native now i'll save it and you can see the fonts have been changed we can further use a different font from the assets folder um, let's use react native bold italic i'll save it and see the fonts have changed same thing we can do in other styles like in the description, I will add light italic. Ta-da! So that's how easy it is to implement React Native 
uh, custom fonts in react native so if you have any uh, doubts or queries you can get back to me in the comment section and i'll try to answer each and every question now let's get to a bonus section since you are going to implement one kind of font in whole of the projects so why do we need to add font family in each and every style so in this bonus part we will do is to create a function that is going to export our text with the uh, any of the font family so that every time we don't need or require to add the font family so let's create a typography function in the root directory i will create new file and i will add this code inside it all right so this function does something that whenever text is rendered it automatically adds this style in the component style so i'll add font family as comic new it regular and save it now go to the index function index.js file and before calling the app registry i will call my typography function save it yeah so since we have changed the text it won't be noticeable what i will do is remove this and this font family and then we can see the fonts are comic new regular so this was the bonus section so that you can prevent yourself from using again and again font family in each and every style so that's it for this video guys this was quick and easy tutorial make sure that you follow each and every step so that you don't miss on any of the uh, step you can find all the code of this project uh, in a github link given in my description or you can also go to a, a medium article the link is in the bottom in the description so that's it if you have any queries any doubts go and go reach out to me on comment section and i'll try each and i will try to answer each and every question thank you so much for such a support make sure to like this video if you like my content make sure to subscribe i will keep bringing some uh, this kind of tutorials further so keep supporting me thank you bye bye